Hello, I'm Lee from Kaspersky, and in this video, I'm going to take you through how you can create a network agent package to become a distribution point and a connection gateway for your customers' environments as part of your MSP platform. So here, as you can see from our Kaspersky Security Center, we've built our virtual admin, and now we need to create a package, a network agent package that's going to act as a conduit for traffic both to and from the customer's environment to your Kaspersky Security Center server. So here we go to installation packages, and you can see we already have a couple of packages created. However, we need to create a new one. So we go to create installation package. We want to create it based on a Kaspersky Lab application. We can name the package later. We click browse, and we've, we've already browsed to this location where packages are stored. We click the nagent KED file and click open. We click next agree to the end user license agreement and complete the package creation wizard. Okay. Once done so, we go into the properties of this package. We want to add it as a distribution point and connection gateway. Here is very important, this is a connection address. So by default, it's going to put the internal connection address of Kaspersky Security Center but we need to add here the external facing IP address of the, of the Kaspersky Security Center server forward slash virtual administration server name. Then finally, in the advanced section, we, we want to enable the option to use this network agent package as a connection gateway. OK and apply that. Finally, the last stage of this section is to right click on the package, go to create standalone installation package. We don't want to move devices uh, at this stage. We want to open up the list of standalone, standalone packages afterwards. And here you can see we've created a standalone installation package. We then need to copy that to a machine within that customer's environment, install that manually, and that will then start talking back directly into your virtual administration server. So that's all that's required for these steps. In the next videos, we'll talk you through uh, the next stages of enabling this as a distribution point and then how you can automate deployment to other machines. Thank you for watching, goodbye.